Hello everyone. Today I am going to talk about something really important in math. That is Indian place value chart, word form, numeral form, place, place value, face value and period. Let's begin. What's place value chart? Place value chart is used to read and write numbers. Imagine there are three houses, Bun's house, Thousand's house and Lakh's house. In Bun's house, only three members can live. Their name are Bun's, Tens and Hundreds. In Thousand's house, only two members can live. That is Thousand's and Ten Thousand's. In Lakh's house, again only two members can live. That is Lakh's and Ten Lakh's. So in math, these houses are called periods. Which means we have three periods. Once period, thousands period and lakhs period. And the members, we name them in maths as places. In once house, it means in once period, we have three places. That is once, tens, hundreds. In thousands period, we have two places. That is thousands, ten thousands. In lakhs period, we have two places again. Lakhs and ten lakhs. And we also have shortcuts for the places. For ones, we use capital O. For tens, we use T. For hundreds, H. For thousands, TH. For ten thousands, T, TH. For lakhs, we use L. For ten lakhs, we use T, L. Now, in numerals, we write ones as one. Tens, we write one zero. For hundreds, we write two zeros. Thousands, three zeros, ten thousands, four zeros, lakh, five zeros, ten lakhs, six zeros. Now let's take an example. We'll write the given numbers under the place value chart. So we have the number here that is four, six, seven, five, three, zero, nine. We have to write this number under this place value chart. Always start writing digit from the right side of the number. Like we have so many digits, you'll not start from 4. You'll always start writing from the right side. So that is 9. So you'll first write 9 under 1's place, then 0 under 10's place, then 3 under 100's, 5 under 1000's, 7 under 10,000's, 6 under lakhs, and 4 under 10 lakhs. Likewise, you can write the this another example under the place value chart. For that, again, you'll not start writing from 7. You'll start writing from the right side, the right digit of the number. That is 6. First, you'll write 6 under 1s, 2 under 10s, 0 under 100s, 2 under 1000s, 8 under 10 thousands and 7 under lakhs. We do not have anything for 10 lakhs, so we'll not write nothing. And you can write 0 also. You can see here each digit has its own special spot. Now let's talk about commas. Commas help us to read big numbers easily. In some books, instead of commas, numbers are separated by spaces between them. By doing mix this, they are just separating periods. So here, for example, we have 9506578. It's a big number. So for this, what we'll do, we'll separate the periods. That is houses. So this, in the first house, we have three members. That is, this is a once period. So after once period, we'll write a comma. Then was the thousands house, thousands period. We'll write comma after that and this is a lakhs period. So we have separated our three houses. This is one's house, thousand's house and lakhs house. Or either you can just leave the spaces like this. So this is the use of commas so that we can separate the periods easily. Now it's your time to do some workout. Giving you exercise to solve. Write answers in the comment section, pause the video and solve.
and I'll check your answers later. Okay, now let's start further. We are going to learn about reading and writing big numbers, specifically seven-digit numbers. You just need to remember two steps. Write places above each digit and insert comma. Now here you can see this is the number. What we'll do first, we'll write this number again and we'll ri start writing places above this num number. So here above 8, you'll write once, above 7, tens, then 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh. Likewise, you'll write all the places above these digits. Now second step, read the number till comma. Now you'll read this number till comma. So this is 3, 2, 32. 32, then you'll write lakh, 50,000, and then 678. There is some exception. You'll not write the ones period. You write lakhs here. You write thousands here, but you will not write ones. So how we'll read this number? This is 32 lakh, 50,000, 678. Okay, now let's see some more examples like we have number here. So first, what you will do? Write the places above the number. So you will start writing from the right side, from the right side digit of this number, which is 3. So you will write above 3 once, then above 5 you will write tens. 100,000, 10,000, lakh, and 10 lakhs. You have written all the places. Insert the commas after three digits, then two, two digits in Indian system. Now, 18 lakh, 6,253. Now, we do not have 10,000 here. So, we'll zero six is 6,253. Now, we'll see another example. We have the number here. First, write down the place value chart above the number. We'll start writing from which number? 1. That is the right side digit. So, above 1, you'll write 1s, then 10s, 100,000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh. Now, we'll insert the commas and read the number. Now, 72 lakh, 8,921. So, we have done the word form and number name. In some books, they'll write the question, write word form. Or in some books, you'll see, write number name. So, this is number name or the word form. Now, again, it's your time to do some workout. Giving you exercise, write answers in the comment section. I'll check your answers and we'll see how many of you have written the correct answers. Remember the steps. Write the place value chart above the digits. Start from the right side and then insert the commas and write the word form of each number. And I'll check your answers. Okay, I think you must have done. Uh, let's move further and learn numeral form. Now, in the numeral form, we'll learn it with an example. Here, you'll see the word form will be given to you and we'll write in the numbers, that is numerals. We just need to remember three steps. That is, first step, always remember, write place value chart. So you'll write the place value chart till 10 lakhs. Once, tens, 100,000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh. After writing the place value chart, write numbers below the places. We do not have numbers here, but in the Word form, we have some numbers. So, we'll see the numbers from here. We'll write under the place value chart. Let's see what we have. 53 lakh, 5353. Matlab, we'll write 5 under 10 lakh and 3 under lakh. This is 53 lakh. Now, 94,000. 9494. So you'll write 94, 9 under 10,000, 4 under 1000. 94,700. You'll write 7 under 100. 
35. 3, 5, 35. So you have written 35. So we have written 53 lakh 94,735. So our answer is correct. Remember, you have to write the commas, insert the commas, leave the three digits, comma, then two digits, comma. So this way you have done the numeral form. Now again, it's your time to do some workout. Giving you exercise, write answers in the comment section, pause the video and solve. I'll check your answers later. Moving to the next topic. Now let's understand place, place value, face value and period with an example. First step for that. We have to write the place value chart. This is for every question. So let's read the example first. Write place, place value, face value, period of underlined digit. We have this underlined digit 3. First of all, first step, write down the place value chart. Start writing from which digit? The right side digit, that is 6. So we'll start writing 1s, 10s, 100, 1000, 10,000, lakh, 10 lakh. After writing all the places, see which digit is underlined. Now, first we'll, this question has four parts. First, we'll write place of underlined digit. What is underlined? Three. So place of three. Just see what is the place of three above place that is 10 lakh. You will just write 10 lakhs without writing any digit because they just asked the place. So we have written the place 10 lakhs. Now place value. Value means you have to write the number as well, the digit as well. So place value of three. This time you are writing the three also. Three, 10 lakhs. Or you can write three times 10 lakhs for times we use multiply 3 multiply 10 lakh or you can write 30 lakh how you'll write this 3 and after that all the digits you'll make them 0 and you'll write 30 lakh now face value of 3 face value of every digit is the number itself just 3 and the face value will be 3 only period of 3 Period, you remember the houses. This is one's house, that is one's period. Thousands house, thousands period. Lakhs house, lakhs period. So, what is the period of three? It's not 10 lakhs. 10 lakh is the place. So, period of three is lakhs. So, this way we have done place, place value, face value and period. You just need to remember the difference between place, place value. Place where we will not write the digit. In place value, we have to write the value also, that is digit also. And period, you remember the houses already, so you can write the houses. Now again, it's your time to do some workout. Giving you exercise, write answers in the comment section, pause the video and solve. And I'll check your answers in the comment section. Keep practicing, keep exploring and most importantly, have fun with numbers. Thank you for watching. Okay, bye-bye, Tata.